Hello, Dizzians of the Warp and YouTube and the Webway. Um, today we'll be covering Wraith Blades, specifically axes and invuln save Wraith Blades. Um, quick rundown on their stats. Five, up, or five movement, three up weapon skill, three up ballistic skill, strength five, toughness six, three wounds, two attacks each, leadership nine, three up armor save. Uh, the way I have loaded them out, or the way I do load them out, is with a ghost axe, which is plus two strength, minus three AP. It does D3 wounds, or damage. When attacking with this weapon, you must subtract one from the hit roll. Uh, and then, of course, I put a force shield on them. It gives them a four up invuln save. Fires of Wrath add one to the attack characteristic of models in this unit in a turn in which it charges, and they also have Ancient Doom. Uh, keywords are infantry, wraith construct, wraith blades, Aladari, Ashurian, spirit host, and craft world. Um, so, what do I think of these guys? I think they're really awesome. I think the models are cool with axes. I don't know if I will go for a frost effect like this. By the way, these are none of my images. These are gotten off of Google. I do not know the names of the people who got them, but it was not me, or who made them, but it wasn't me. Um, what I'd recommend with this is uh, take them like this, and you know, with a four up and vulnerable save, unless you're facing an army that is just going to completely have every type of mortal wound weapon there is you could probably walk these guys up the table I wouldn't try to take 2,000 points worth of shooting at them but walk them up the table have something nearby to help buff them a little bit a little negative to hit from a warlock or spirit seer or something and then you know you're set uh, personally these guys I have only gotten to use them in one game due to a lack of, of time but when I did put them down, my opponent said, Oh my god, what are those? They are so scary. Um, they then waylaid into a group of his infantry, which were chaos cultists, so nothing big to brag about, but they totally annihilated them, which I would expect at an over 200 point unit. Um, then I was coming up on his marines, and he was unloading plasma after plasma after plasma shot into these guys, and he was unable to kill them mostly because I was making some good and vulnerable saves. Uh, so what would I suggest you do with these guys? Well, um, you can put a Spirit Seer near them. That gives you the plus one to, or a reroll hit of ones against enemy units that are within six inches of the Spirit Seer. Uh, that also gives you access to Quicken, which allows you to move them up the table a little bit faster, an extra advance, or an extra five inches of movement, so that you can get that 10 inches of move and then get on up the table to, to hit something really hard. At strength 7, you're threatening most of the medium vehicles or most of the transports that are out there because most of them, in my experience, have been toughness 7. So at D3 wounds, yeah, you're guaranteed on average a 2, but you got 5 guys here. If they all hit the vehicle, that's 10 wounds. Um, maybe you do more, maybe you do less, depending on how bad or cold your dice are or how good his are. Uh, minus 3 AP, you're going to be looking at 6 up saves on most enemy vehicles unless they have an invuln save. So, I really think these guys are worth it. I really think you should take them. Um, I haven't played with them enough to recommend a stratagem yet. God, I can talk today. But, I do recommend that you buy this unit, put them on the table with the Wraith Guard being your shooting that you deep strike in to threaten his enemy lines because... My opponent in several of my games has turned his entire line of shooting just to deal with my Wraith Guard and ignored these guys. So, again, put them on the table, see what you think of them. The 4-up invuln save, in my opinion, is well worth losing an attack that you would have gotten from the Ghost Swords. You gain two strengths instead of one, and you also, like I said a second ago, the invuln saves are really, really worth your time and money. Um and points. Total point cost on these guys, I don't have it right here in front of me. It's over 200 points, but again, it is well worth it. It's a good elite section of your army, um, and most people will look at them and not have anything to deal with them unless they have their own Terminators or they're running the Space Smurf Plasma spam that is going on of late, at which point 
hopefully your invulnerable saves assist you with that. Otherwise, you're just going to have... The, if there's enough plasma shots, even enough bolter shots will kill these guys, even with the 3-up save. So keep all that in mind. I would keep a Psyker near them for the sole purposes of conceal or quicken so that they're either harder to hit or they're getting up the table faster. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you in the next one. So my buddy uh, Amp Services on Twitch is giving away a painted Warhound Titan. The, mo the weapons loadout I believe is going to be different from this one. He hasn't built it yet. I believe he said it was going to be a plasma flamer combination and not the bolter combination that you see up on the screen. Um, all you have to do to enter is be a follower on Twitch, which I will provide a link to in the description below as well as in the screen. Go to that channel, give him a follow if you want, give him a sub. To win the model, you do not have to be a subscriber. You do not have to be a subscriber. If that changes, I will notify you. Um, but follow, and then you enter with currency that you get from just watching his streams. And, you know, you stand as good a chance as anybody of getting this model. This is a very good prize. My buddy is a very good painter. Please go give him a check at Amp Services, and I will give you a link in the description. Have a good one.